Hello everyone, Lee here and welcome to a squad builder. I haven't uploaded a video for over a week and um, I've built a few different teams during the week and a few of them were good and a few of them wasn't so I sold a few um, and forgot to actually record them so I only have two squads at the moment and I'll be uploading them both today but this one here is a team that costs around 250,000 coins and it is a Brazilian slash Argentinian hybrid featuring uh, one Spanish Premier League player um, we'll just have a manager now we're playing in the 5-3-2 formation and with the defenders in this team no one gets passed obviously it doesn't mean you just never ever can concede a goal but seriously I have like the three biggest fastest most overpowered centre backs on the game apart from Thiago Silva because he was too expensive and I just don't like him anyway but starting off in goal we have Hilton the Porto goalkeeper he's got to be my favourite goalkeeper um, that I've ever used on this game. I've used Informed Julio Cesar with this team, but he was rubbish. I've used Informed De Gea, I've used Hart, I've used Czech, I've used Casillas, I've used Neuer, and this guy is just an absolute beast. He is unstoppable. He just saves so many different shots, and he's so cheap as well, only 950 coins. And at right wing back, we have non informed Rafael. Um, I sold the informed one. I need the money to buy some of the other players and to be honest there isn't really that much difference um, he cost 1,800 coins but um, only because he was in form so um, you can't actually get him too often like you can't get the non-informed version in packs anymore um, but next to him we have Felipe Santana um, he is an absolute tank just like the two guys that are going to be on the left hand side of him in a moment 81 pace, 77 defending and 84 heading, um, an absolute beast, 81 pace for a centre back and he's 6 foot 4 as well, just an amazing player. Then in the middle we have Dede, 81 pace, 81 defending, 82 heading, 70 shooting and 67 dribbling which isn't too bad and his long shots are actually pretty good as well. Um, he is also quite cheap, 2,900 coins and then next to them we have David Luiz. Um, I think we all know about this guy, but I'll go for it again. 78 pace, 71 dribbling, 65 shooting, 71 passing, 77 to heading, which feels like 90, and 78 heading, which feels like something like 85 as well. Then at left wing back, though, we have Real Madrid's Brazilian Marcelo. Cost 47,000 coins, 83 pace, 83 dribbling, both seem higher than that. 67 shooting, which seems a tiny bit more than that. 80 defending, 70 heading, and 80 passing. All round great player. Um, three star skills as well, should be four really because he does quite a lot in real life. Then we have a centre attacking midfielder, he's the only one that's out of position because to buy him in centre mid he was like 25k for some reason, yet you can get him in cam for 7,600 and um, everyone gets full chemistry apart from him anyway. He gets seven but he scored plenty of goals for me and got plenty of assists so I don't really see what two less chemistry than everyone else does. Um, but it's Lucas, the PSG version. 92 pace, 88 dribbling, 77 shooting with very powerful long shots and 78 passing. His free kicks are okay as well. Um, he has 4 star skills, 3 star weak foot. A uh, very good player. Um, you don't actually have any wingers on this team, but him and then the guy on the right hand side, which is going to be um, Juan Mata, they act like wingers because they're so quick and play as wingers sometimes in real life as well. But Mata cost me 33,000 coins in centre mid, um, form, uh, centre mid position. He has 83 pace, 87 dribbling, 77 shooting, great free kicks, 80 passing, and 65 heading, which seems a bit more than that. Um, great player. Then in the centre we have uh, Javier Pastore um, from PSG as well, and he's Argentinian. Links up perfectly with Lucas next to him. <coughs> Um, he has good games where he'll score goals and he'll do really well. Let's just have a look at his record. 11 goals in 20 games, but he gets a lot of assists as well. But then he'll have other games where he's not as good. I did stick the informed version of him there, but the informed version's right mid, so he only got like 6 chemistry. Um, but he has 74 pace, 85 dribbling, 77 shooting, and 81 passing. Um, he has 64 heading, but he seems to like charge in and get quite a lot of headers as well. Then, um... On the left side of the striker positions, we have Sandro Lopez. Now, I only put him there for chemistry reasons, but he is an absolute beast. 
Um, I haven't used him since the start of FIFA 12 Ultimate Team when I didn't really know much about Ultimate Team. I just started out, I had a team like no chemistry, I was a complete retard. Uh, he was my main striker, so back to the good old days there. Um, but we have him. Uh, he has 81 pace, which doesn't often let you down. Just like once a game, you'll thread him through one on one, you'll get caught up. But he is an amazing striker, though. 83 shooting, it seems like 90. He just scores from all kinds of angles. If the defender's hassling him, if he's forced wide, he'll just smash it into the back of the net. Absolute rocket of a shot. He has 76 passing, 81 dribbling as well, and 75 heading, which seems a little bit more than that. 4 star skills, 4 star week for 800 coins for an 83 rated striker, that's as good as him, you cannot go wrong. Then next to him we have the most expensive player in the team, back to the Premier League and it is Sergio Aguero from Manchester City. He is an absolute beast as well, 88, pass, uh, 88 pace, sorry, 84 shooting which seems a lot more than that. You just power it from the, ap from the edge of the box or outside the box, it just smashes into the top corner every time, he's just an amazing player. 73 passing, 91 driven, 72 heading, which seems more than that as well. Um, he has 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot. Um, if you swap him to this side, you still get full chemistry on everyone. Um, but I like playing him like that because you get less dead links. But what I do is, as soon as I get an opportunity to pause it at the start of the first half, I'll pause it and I'll swap them over because I don't know why. I don't know whether it's because um, I'm right handed and um, I don't know whether it's because I'm right handed really, but. It's just instinctive that I attack a lot from the left hand side, a lot more than the right. Um, then I can shoot on players right foot. I'm not really sure whether it's anything to do with what hand I am. But that's just what seems to happen. So I do need a bit more pace so I just swap these when I can pause it. Um, very, very solid team. Um, I need to win like two games out of four and then I've won Division 1 with, these, with this team. Um, they won me Division 2, I got relegated there because I was messing around, I was playing like a whole team of goalkeepers and stuff like that, trying to get some good YouTube videos for you guys that are all stored on the computer and will be uploaded within the next couple of weeks. But this team won 7 out of 7 games in Division 2 and as I said they're about to win me Division 1. Very great team, only 250,000 coins but the defence is solid, um, even if it is 5 at the back. It says here everyone gets like 7 chemistry but if you back out and go back onto it again, you actually get uh, 9 chemistry on everyone apart from Mata and Lucas. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my previous video that I uploaded today, which is a giveaway to say thanks for 150 subscribers. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.